Good morning, everybody. Sunday with spirit. All right. Um, for the new people that are coming in, thank you. Thank you. Um, this is not a, a tarot card pull. This is an oracle. This is just to get in touch with spirit and see if there's any messages that, that they want to share with us. And I think it's main, this one, it's, it's, it's going to be kind of heavy, I think. Um, and the reason is the, I was thinking about, um, COVID and the milestone that we hit, um, 145,000 plus in the U S just in the U S that have crossed over. My brother works in uh, a couple of hospitals as a, as a chaplain, and he goes, I'm having such a hard time going to work. Before the COVID patient load wasn't that, that high, and he goes, it's, it's getting big. <laughs> yes, sir. And then I, you know, just life. Um, somebody, a friend of mine called me up. Her mom crossed. Healthy. Well, she was, it was, un, it was unexpected. Let's put it that way. So, in these happy times, how do we deal and with we, I mean me, because I don't want to project any of this to y'all. If it resonates with you, that's great. Um, if you can take something from it, it it's great. I, I'm, I'm trying so, so hard not to be preachy or anything, because I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. So that's why I'm asking spirit. And here are the two cards that I'm using. This is my shaman oracle. Mystical Shaman Oracle deck, and this is my Enchanted Map deck. So more spiritual, more path. How do we, how do we go? How do we move? How do we think? So I put out four cards here, and then these two I laid out, and they are going to be what do we embrace? What do we abandon? What do we let go of? My night card that I go to sleep on is the owl. And my, what big eyes you have. All seeing, powerful, really strong. Um, sees in the night, sees things that other people do not see. Other birds don't see. But for all you birds out there, the owl is someone who is very powerful. So what am I, what am I not seeing? Let's find out. Or what am I seeing? The eagle. Another really strong bird of prey. And when I look at this and when I compare these two, I see the owl being able to fly through woods and the eagle not. That's interesting why that came up. So the, the eagle, super strong, super powerful, um, laser-like vision, but it has to fly above the trees to get a bigger perspective on things. And then it uses its sight to zero in on what it wants. 
So am I too much in the weeds with all of this and thinking, you know, when, when loss happens, it's just, we're so in the weeds. Hmm. The Andean cross. So in sh uh, shamanism, there's four directions, north, south, east, west. Each direction has a prayer associated to it or a path that you can think of. Um, for me, north is a true direction. South is honoring the ancestors. East as the sun rises with new beginnings. West as the sun set. I hope to gradually, gracefully let things go that are no longer serving me. And in this though, there's the eye. And that eye is a portal that can ground us to Mother Earth if we choose to spread that way, as well as go up into the heavens so that we can have a, a message with spirit. So get a bigger picture. Don't focus on the little things. Ground yourself. Find your direction. Talk to spirit. And here is some actionable things. <laughs> okay. This action isn't really going very far, is it? Elephant on top of this rock in the middle of an ocean. So, the woman on top of the elephant is looking to the past. <clears throat> There's a lot of turbulence in this water. And when a loved one passes, when we are in that presence, we feel all this turbulence. Over in the future, it's a lot calmer. And in the horizon, it's, it appears really calm. And I say appears because if anybody's been on the ocean and they look out, the, the waves don't look that big <laughs> until you get in them. And then, look out! Um, also have a moon up here. So, as we are, water represents emotion, and as we are a lot um, water, things, fl the, the moon changes how we feel. So, even though we're on this rock, on this elephant, we are still feeling the pull of the people that left and we're not looking towards the future. And it feels like it's okay to be up there. <laughs> Compass. So you've got a, not you, me, we, because I don't want to be preachy. I don't want to be preachy. Um, we need to have a compass. We need to, at some point, we have to get off this rock. And that's going to take a little bit of direction. And it goes back to the Andean cross and the strength and the vision. And right now we might not be seeing it so much, but know that in the future, we're gonna need this. So don't throw away this compass and stay in the light. See that? I don't know if you guys see that. I have to see the light in here. Stay in the light. All right. What should we embrace? <laughs> we should embrace being up on that elephant. So 
So water is, um, to me, it's, it's the life force. It's certainly my life force. I love being on the water, in the water, underneath the water. Um, but, it, you know, it can be too much, too. You can have a gentle rain. You can have floods. Um, there, the moon changes this. Things ebb and flow. So as we're dealing with all of this, know that our emotions are coming and going and coming and going, and that's okay. Embrace that. That's Water is, is good. Also, go take a shower. Now, some people who are in drought situations, they may not be able to take a long shower, but... The talisman. Huh. So, as we walk through this path of trying to come to grips and come to terms with with what we're facing with. It looks like it's a solitary path. There's not a lot of people here. It looks like this woman is almost naked and, and certainly when big things happen, when I lose somebody that's so close, I feel so raw, so naked. My emotions are flowing, sometimes uncontrollable. And I go, oh, don't you dare cry. Don't cry. And then, wah! You know, I'm just, I'm a mess. So the action in this is just knowing that this is a path for us to take by ourselves. If we use ritual to connect to spirit, that may help us in our journey. The rhythmic drums in shamanism, the rattle calling to spirit, uh, a rosary in the Catholic um, tradition, chanting in the Buddhist, I guess. I, I don't know. You can tell I'm very religious. I'd like to be spiritual, not so much religious. Too many wars with that. All right, back to this. I'm sorry. Um, what we should abandon? Oh, the sorcerer in medicine position. In the shaman deck, when cards are upside down, it's called the medicine position, which I really like because it's, it's all healing energy. And when something bad happens, how many times do we say, God, why'd you do that? <laughs> You know, we start cussing at spirit. Why'd you do that? And it's easy to flip into that negative. Because we're hurt. We're sad. Don't flip into the negative. That's what I'm getting with this card. Stay into the light. I mean, look how big that card is and look how little that light is. Look how little that light is. All right. And the last card. Strength. This is the abandoned row. Strength. Got the tree of life. I mean, out of, looks like a cold frost field. A 
what I'm getting is going back to this card. It's okay to feel vulnerable. It's okay not to have the, the strength right now that you need, the owl strength and the eagle strength. These are more to me of getting clear on your vision. This is getting, being in touch with your emotions and letting it flow. There's a time that you're gonna need this compass, but it may not be right now. Right now is a time to get with spirit. Don't go into the dark and know that this strength will come later but since it's in the abandoned position, now it's just a, a time to feel. All right, you all. Um, thank you for hanging with me on Sunday with Spirit. It's a little heavy one, I'm, I'm, but these are heavy times. These are heavy times. So I wish you all peace and love. If I could give you a big old hug, I would. So I will give you a big air hug. Alrighty. Bye-bye.